Welcome friends, welcome back to the kitchen. Welcome back to Cocktails After Dark. Today we're going to do a cocktail out of this My New Cocktail Book. It's actually called My New Cocktail Book. Published in 1934 by a Mr. Steele. He has signed the front page. Um, and in 1934, I've said this before, I really like tequila cocktails, but they're very difficult to find in the years that I've chosen to focus on for this show. Um, but there's one in this cocktail book. It is called Young Man's Delight, and in, in brackets it says Texas or Mexico. Um, and it's a really large cocktail. I kind of think that based on the ingredient list, that it's actually meant to be made in a pitcher, and what we today would call a Paloma, um, because it asks for a half pint of tequila. Um, and tequila is spelled incorrectly. So it sounds like one of those recipes where someone's got an idea, They've seen it made, they didn't, weren't really sure what it was, and when they got back home to wherever they lived, they tried to recreate it, and they came up with this. So we're going to give it a go and see what happens. I'm going to use a tequila and something that we will talk about when I start pouring it. So we're going to use this 100% blue agave, or blue Weber agave uh, tequila, that is typical of what you would have found in 1934. And I'm going to use this, which is this. It's a bit of weirdness. Um, it's... I, I need more information on it. We picked it up uh, last time we were in Quebec City. It's called El Chapleau, which is a play on words uh, based on where it's distilled. It's distilled in Montreal. And from what I understand, they bring agave in from Mexico. They roast it and distill it in Montreal. So they can't call it tequila. And then when they cut it from, from barrel strength, they cut it with uh, maple water, sap water from trees. So I'm going to give this a go. I haven't tasted it yet. Just opened it have no clue what's going to happen. Next in is some orange juice. Now there are, you know, as typical for this cocktail book, there are no instructions given whatsoever for any of the cocktails. How to mix them, how to serve them, everything is just a list of ingredients. So I'm, I'm kind of on my own here. I'm making this up as I go along. This is lime juice. Uh, of course these are both freshly squozen. And then it asks for uh, the white of an egg, um, but that was for the whole amount. So I'm only going to put half a white in each one, and that could be difficult to do. Okay, so I'm going to call that half an egg white. <laughs> That's not pretty at all, is it? And that's half an egg white. And I'm going to ice and shake the tequila first. And a double strain. Hello, Gwen. Oh. So, um, Young Man's Delight, two ways, but we're not ready yet. Wait, there's more. Oh, there's more. I see you've got something creamy, like a... Uh, egg. Egg, that would make sense. Egg. Oh, it has... Now... Oh, really? Yes. So it doesn't say how much, again, um, but it calls for ginger ale. Okay. Uh, there's already a nice creamy head on, to, on it, isn't there? Mm-hmm. I'm assuming at some point I should be putting... I'm just kind of looking at it going on and I'm not really sure where this is going. I it. should probably be putting some ice in there somewhere. Oh. Um, 1934. So this one is made with... I don't even know what to think about this drink. It's, I know. It's, it's eggy and there's ginger ale in it and I'm not sure. 100% blue Weber agave tequila. Okay. Montreal distilled agave spirit made with uh, maple tree water. Okay, maple sap. All right. Ooh. I'm surprised. Okay. <laughs> yes, me too. <laughs> Mm. 
Wow, those are very, very different. Very different, aren't they? Very yes. different. The, um, I think the fuller, I wanna say this one has a fuller flavor, yeah. but I'm not really sure that's a. That's, that's where I would've gone with that. Definitely, I would've gone. Oh. Sorry, Jules. Okay. So that is, that's, okay, so I have a peculiar face because I can't quite put the words right. I don't know that I would say, oh, look, there's a It's not tequila. Tequila. It's not tequila. But, it's, but it has a, but it's clearly a spirit, a white spirit. It's fun in its own way. Yeah. Like yeah. It, 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 this is not the drink for it though, but no. it. I it's a very interesting flavor. I declare that. Whatever that is, young man's delight, <laughs> made with that particular Platino um, agave tequila, that's a winner. I'm, I, I declare so that, that could a be winner. an old man's delight too. Yeah, <laughs> you're good either way. I declare that a winner. This, the the one with the with the El Chapleau, is a little thin. I... But I wouldn't say that about that 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 spirit. It's not right in this cocktail. No, no. A fuller bodied, more flavorful tequila is what works in this cocktail. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. Because you've got, I think the ginger ale dominates this. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. And that one got less ginger ale than this one. Because, you know, I was just free pouring. <laughs> just free pouring. Okay. So, um, I don't know what to say. I really like that drink. It's not a Paloma. Definitely not a Paloma. But it, in its own way, it's a great cocktail. And I guess, are there other cocktails today, contemporary cocktails that are named something? <clears throat> that may even be, I didn't, I didn't look at Difference to see. I should have looked at Difference before I started filming. Anyway, I don't know if there's any out there today that have the same ingredient list or the same name. Let me know. Give it a shot. I think it's pretty good. Here you go. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.